the Pakiri River. The forests and the wetlands it runs through are shrouded in a thick, dense fog of smoke. Vets and trackers taking to boats in a desperate animal rescue. The fires have been burning here for months. The inhabitants of the Pantanal, the world's largest tropical wetlands, are all in dangerously poor shape. But the rescue team is searching for jaguars. Burnt out of their natural habitat, they've made it to the river, looking for food and looking for safety. The largest population of jaguars in the world is here. Some of the survivors of the fires are injured. She's limping, but mobile, eyeing up a family of otters, but too slow. They escape, heads popping out of the water, calling out a warning that a predator is near. The jackets are coming down to the water to hunt. You can see she or he is not well at all, hobbling slightly. I think she was after um, some otters that have left, but more and more of the, uh, the jaguars are finding life really difficult um, in the whole of the landscape that's now been burnt. And I say the easiest way to hunt is to come down by the water, but their hunting capability is obviously impaired. The vet team are specialists with big cats. They're monitoring survivors. Reports from fishermen have been coming in that at least one of the jaguars that is injured has been spotted. We catch them up. They assess the injuries. He's four or five years old. The fires have forced jaguars to share the same territory. It is often a violent mix. Put simply, they fight. Because of the fire, the jaguars have changed the territory and then they can find other jaguars and dispute the territory. So we think that probably this jaguar has this problem, this problem in the fall because of it. Maybe have fight it with another male or other female. Well, the good news is that the jaguar has been hunting and uh, will be able to stay here, obviously under anesthetic at the moment. One of the plans was to take him away and to treat him, but he's okay because he's hunting. They patch him up and inject antibiotics before moving him away from the river. Slowly but surely he recovers. So far though, the Pantanal is not recovering. There are always dry season fires in the Pantanal, but nothing like this. The bodies of animals are strewn across the wetland swamp, now ravaged by fire. Caymans, an indigenous alligator, lie where they died trying to escape the flames. Nearby ponds are nearly dry. The Caymans have congregated here in huge numbers, hundreds of them. Dinosaur descendants facing another apocalyptic moment in their own more modern history. Neither land nor air animals are safe from the fires. Vets treat an injured hawk brought to an animal aid station at the entrance to the reservation. a baby owl, and budgies, hurt and traumatised. And then a baby otter. She's lost her mother and is starving and scared. Quite the most cute thing you will ever see. Safe now, but her life has changed forever. The Pantanal will survive this drought, but this generation of animals will not be the same and there are only so many droughts they can survive. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Brazil.